and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this angel remembrance ornament I think it turned out really pretty and if you look at the wings on the back I'm going to show you how to make these little feathery wings and also I'm not sure if you can see from there or not but um, I do have some vinyl writing on this so I made this actually for some close friends um, they recently lost their grandmother. I just think that this would be a very sweet gift to give somebody that's in that uh, that type of situation. Um, and also inside is some little fake snow. So if you want to see how I made this, then continue watching. To make this remembrance ornament, I have a few supplies. I have feathers and I have the hackle. Then I also have some white ribbon. I have a pipe cleaner in the color white. This is a plastic ornament. You can use glass if you like. This is 3.27 inch. I have my pencil, my scissors, some a glue stick, some rubbing alcohol to clean my ornament. And I have an angel wing template that I um, drew and cut out. And also I have a 100 pound weight cardstock. So to personalize my ornament, I have a vinyl cut out um, that says in loving memory and then the name of the person that I'm I'm going to be making the ornament about and then the lifespan and I have a little piece of contact sheet if you don't have a craft cutter you might be able to look on Etsy and find somebody that can make you a custom decal or you can put a picture of your special loved one inside the ornament and you will also need a hot glue gun so to begin I'm going to trace my wing template out onto this cardstock Then I'm going to take the wing template and I'm going to turn it the opposite direction and then I'm going to put it right up beside my other traced out image, then trace out the other wing. I am overlapping the two wings a bit because I want my wings to be one piece. I have my wings traced out onto the paper and now I'm going to cut them out. So now I have one pair of wings cut out. I am going to trace this and make a second pair just because I want them to be a bit heavier material. Now I'm going to cut out this pair. So now that I have both of my pairs of wings cut out, I'm going to take my glue stick and glue them together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to wrap it around the ornament um, top. Make sure to overlap it just a little bit. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is now that I have the little circle from my ornament, I'm going to take the end and wrap it around the other side of the pipe cleaner here. And I'm going to secure it. And if you have some pliers and you can get that down in there, I would definitely do that so nobody gets injured on the, the end of the wire there. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaner, I'm going to take my angel wings, and I'm just going to go ahead and measure and cut. You see this little line here? I want my pipe cleaner to be that length. So it will look something like this when you're done. Now I'm just gonna put that to the side for now. Okay, so I just got a little mat here to protect my table and also so you can see what I'm doing just a bit better. Okay, so now it's time to put my feathers on. I'm actually only going to use, it's called the die saddle hackle. Um, I just like how they're a bit more fluffier than the other feathers. And I'm not gonna be using these long um, bits of the feather, so I will be cutting those off. Okay, so now that I have some of my feathers cut out, I'm going to go ahead and start hot gluing them onto uh, my little wings.
and you want to kind of layer them. Now when I get up to the top here, I am going to um, make it to where my feathers kind of overlap a little bit. So actually right now what I'm going to do before I start working on the other side is I'm going to hot glue my pipe cleaner to my angel wings. So now, I am going to trim up this little feather some here. So now that I'm happy with this side, I'm going to move over and do the feathers on this side. So now I'm going to do the back side. So now that I have all my feathers on, I'm going to trim up around the top where I let it overlap. Also, I'm just going to trim up some of the feathers here in the middle. So now I'm going to clean my ornament with a cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol. Okay, so I have my vinyl and I'm going to peel off my contact sheet and I am going to put it right on top of that. I'm just going to use this card, credit card, and rub that onto the contact sheet. And now I'm going to attempt to peel this off, but it looks like some of my letters are still sticking. So I'm going to go back over that. Just keep going back over it with your little burnishing tool until all your letters will actually stick to the contact paper. Aha, there, I got it, finally. Oh, first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, since it might be kind of hard to get it straight without creasing the letters, I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this contact paper off close to my letters. I'm only going to start with the top of my ornament and I'm going to do this very slowly because I don't want my letters to crease or get wrinkles in them. So after you have all the letters down then you can start peeling it up. Peel your contact sheet up. If your letters don't come up when you start peeling off, then go ahead and put your contact um, paper back down and then just rub it some more. Okay, so now that I have my vinyl on my ornament, I'm going to go ahead and take my angel wings and I'm going to pop them over the ornament hanger. So there you go. Here's the wings on the ornament and now I just need to make an ornament hanger. And now I'm going to take my ribbon and make a hanger for my ornament. I am going to see what it looks like with some of the uh, fake snow inside the ornament. So let me check that out. Let's see how that looks with that in there. So I'll put the lid back on and now I'm going to put my angel wings on. How cute is that? So here's the finished ornament. I'm not sure if you can see the silver glitter that good on this. But I wanted to go with the silver glitter, that way it just looked more angelic. And I really like how it looks with the white fake snow inside it. 
So that is the front side and then there is the back side. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.